This is a live presentation of Acoustic Determinator. With Acoustic Determinator, you can calculate the sound power level based on sound pressure level measurements in the field. On the left you see the project tree. Here you see the calculation method and the measurement methods that you have been using for your measurements. Also you see the sources that you have been measuring organized per measurement method. For instance, the source plant 1 has been measured according to the ISO 8297 measurement method. On the right you see the name of the source, the date of the measurement, the measurement time, sound character, air absorption, but also meteorological conditions like temperature, wind speed, wind angle and humidity. Here you see the measurement height, the source height, the area surface, the measurement surface, and the mean measurement distance. All these attributes and all this information is needed according to the ISO 8297 measurement method. Below you see the measured sound pressure level and based on all the information above in combination with the sound pressure level Acoustic Determinator calculates the sound power level given here per octave. You can measure your sound pressure level of several measurement points and Acoustic Determinator will average these measurement points. You can also add an image, a picture to your measurement and you give, can give some additional notes. Let us create a new measurement. I click on the home area and with my right mouse button I can select a new measurement. First I have to select the measurement method. There are three ISO measurement methods and several Dutch measurement methods. Let us select the concentrated source method. This is a convenient method for calculating the sound power of point sources. Let us suppose we've got a noisy compressor. I key in the name of the source, compressor, and I give it a height, one meter high, a measurement distance of five meter, and suppose I've been measuring on one meter's height. Then below there's a message given. In this case it says that a restriction is not met. The measurement height, H0, should be higher, a little bit higher, than the source height. So let's do the measurement again, but now on one and a half meter distance. And next you see that all restrictions are met. OK, next should be to define your sound pressure level. You can key it in directly or you can use the acoustic spreadsheet that is included in Acoustic Determinator. Here you see the measurements that have been entered already in the acoustic spreadsheet. We can also directly connect to a sound level meter, for instance the BNK2260 or the BNK2250. Once you have imported the sound pressure levels from the meter, they are shown in the acoustic spreadsheet. In the acoustic spreadsheet you can average, subtract and add sound pressure levels in order to come up with the correct sound pressure level that you want to use for your sound power calculation. Suppose this, this line represents the correct sound pressure level. With my right mouse I can copy the complete spectrum and paste it into my sound power calculation. So now I've given all the data that's needed according to this measurement method and my sound power level is 103.6 dBA. If I want to print out my measurements I go to the print button and I select the measurements that I want to print. I can also select all measurements. I can select if I want to print the images, the pictures and the notes. Let us show a preview. Here you see all the information neatly arranged on the print output. All the information that I have given, but also the picture. So in this case all the information is printed neatly and you can make your report. If you want to use the sound power in a predictor model, you simply click on the source, you select copy on the right mouse menu, you open 
predictor, you enter a, a source and you use the from clipboard button in the predictor source item form. This concludes my presentation of Acoustic Determinator. Thank you for watching this video.